Hey, what's up? Do you notice anything different in my greenhouse? Yes, the bubble wrap is still up, but I've added shade netting. It's getting to that time of year for me in Dorset that the ambient temperatures and the amount of sunlight we're getting is just getting a bit too hot for everything in my greenhouse. Now I'm gonna be experiencing this a lot earlier than people in the north of the UK or other parts of the world that have slightly cooler temperatures for a bit longer in this early part of the growing season. But for me, it's getting too hot for most days that we have sunlight now. The shade netting is fantastic. It comes in different percentages, right? So you can get 50%, which will allow 50% of sunlight in and 50% shade, and you can go up or down from there. Now, I've got no idea what percentage this one is because it was left over and given to me by a friend, but it's doing the job perfectly. Now, why am I trying to cool down my greenhouse if I'm growing tropical and exotic plants? Good question. On plant labels, especially for things like colocasias and bananas, it will often say to you, grow in full sun um, because these tropical plants love heat. Only part of that's true, really. They're suggesting full sun because that will obviously give the plant heat, but especially younger plants, when you're growing things from plugs like this banana plant, young plants and young foliage is gonna be tender and it, as much as it can get damaged by cold, it can get damaged by scorching from direct sunlight. So shade netting is gonna just diffuse that light, but because we're in an enclosed space, which is just made out of glass, greenhouses, it's gonna heat up really quickly. So now we're getting that heat without that damaging direct sun. And that's the trick. And for me, I found that all of these big leaved tropical plants absolutely thrive in partial shade. I find that they'll put out much bigger leaves because they're trying to increase that leaf surface area to get more sunlight, more photosynthesis, and then they'll grow more and more and more. And it's just been perfect. Now for me, I love using this shade netting. So I've got four strips of shade netting here, all tied at the apex of my greenhouse, and then I just drape them down to the eaves. And I can reuse this shade netting year after year after year. It's much better than that white paint that you can buy painting your greenhouse to diffuse the light coming in because you've got to spend time doing that and washing it off. Hanging the shade netting for me takes 15 minutes in spring and then 15 minutes to take it down in autumn. But obviously I'm growing in a six foot by eight foot greenhouse, depending on the size of your greenhouse. And I'm jealous if you've got a massive greenhouse, it may take a bit more time. Now to fix the shade netting to the greenhouse, I've got these alley plugs that I use elsewhere to hold the bubble wrap in place. And the cool feature with these alley plugs, someone smart put a little hole through the twist fixing part, which means that you can use it as a point, an anchor point to tie your shade netting. And I've just done that all the way along the top of the greenhouse and it's worked a treat. Now, even with the shade netting, it can get too hot in the greenhouse, but it's fine because, let's move the camera up, I've got roof vents that automatically open when it gets too hot. Obviously, I've got the door open at the moment and I've got bottom louvre vents, which I can open in the height of summer that will not only cool the temperature down, but it's gonna increase airflow and it will get a nice current of air going around the greenhouse to give fresh air to all of the plants. Now, hopefully, if you haven't already shaded your greenhouse, when it comes to the time that your greenhouse is getting way too much direct sun and your plants are wilting and drying out all the time and you're having to water like three or four times a day, you might consider investing in a bit of shade netting and protecting your plants and seeing how much better they grow. Now, don't forget, we've created a gardener social network, a support forum website where you can go and create a free account. And there is a forum there specifically for greenhouse growers. And I'd love to see pictures of your shade netting and your greenhouse setups. So by all means, go over, I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description and share some pictures and say hi. Thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you found this video useful and I will see you all in the next one.